All right, ninjas, it's time for the one hour drawing manga challenge once again to improve your manga skills and become a super mangaka. And today we're gonna draw hair suggested by Very the judge. So, yes, we're gonna draw the hair and let's get it going. Eesh. If you have any other suggestions for human body parts, uh, just let me know to draw on one of the next times. And right now we're gonna draw hair. And we're also talking about your favorite anime of this year, or games, shows, movies, or something else, or if you have any other topics, or maybe places you want to travel to, um, if you have any. Yeah, I have a few anime that were fun this year, <clears throat> which were Marshall, Just do it. Kaiju No8, Dr. Stone, some of these anime uh, are already old by now, nice. or a few years ago, but that's what I watched this year. Uh, Free Run. Free Run is uh, definitely good. Slice of Life fantasy kind of show. Yeah, favorite though, man. It's a bit uh, hard because there are quite a, a bit of good ones that uh, we watched. I might even forgot some. Um, favorites, let's see, what else did we watch this year? Yeah, okay, we also watch weekly anime, if they are out even, like uh, the weekly One Piece, so the latest One Piece episode, the latest My Hero Academia episode, Demon Slayer, um, which is now already finished. What else was there? A few things already finished this year. I think, wait, Rent a Girlfriend I watched this year, right? I already forgot a bit. <laughs> um, favorite, yeah, Marshall is definitely really good and funny at the same time. Like some things you already expect maybe a bit because he's a bit overpowered, the, the main character. Like the One Punch, like One Punch Man. Yeah, I think One Punch Man should also come with a new season. I don't know when. Um, but I believe they're working on it. Yeah, if you talk about favorite manga of this year, for me it's uh, the first answer probably always will, will be One Piece, because I follow that uh, One Punch weekly. Man was pretty funny. Yeah, One Punch Man season one is really good. Um, for me, season two was a bit less good. Because the talent of the first season, I don't think they were there anymore. It was also a different studio, I think. Um, but season one of One Punch Man was really well made. Like, super epic. Because the um, director or producer gathered a lot of uh, the talent that he already knew. And some other ones, I guess. To work on the first season. But the second season, I think it was a different studio. So, so yeah. <laughs> I still enjoyed it, enjoyed it, but um, yeah. It's not as good as the first one. I, I wonder what they're gonna do with the third one, which studio is doing it. It's probably already, uh, I forgot which one it was probably already known which which uh, studio is the third one um, we, we were supposed to draw hair oh well some bonus here <laughs> But yeah, One Punch Man, um, I was reading the manga as well, but I, at some point I was up to date and then actually have not continued that one for 
I guess a few years now. <laughs> yeah, because the chapters came out really slow. I'm not sure how far it is by now, but uh, yeah, the manga of um, One Punch Man is also really good. That's also why the first, when they started working on the anime of One Punch Man, they had a bit of trouble because um, the anime, uh, the manga was so detailed and all of that. And also the um, uh, Yusuke Murata, I think he also did a bit of animation. Also in the One Punch Man panels, he did some of the manga also. Uh, if you put it together, it, it moves like an uh, animation, like an anime. Which is, uh, yeah. Because Yusuke Murata is also a bit of an animator. And a mangaka, so someone who makes manga. So that's, um, yeah. Really cool. And Yusuke Murata's stellar artwork. The artist of uh, the new One Punch Man, because One I'm Punch Man. You pay a lot of attention to drawings. Uh, yeah, I guess so. In anime. Yeah. Also, um. Keep it up. Some some animal st anime styles I um. I'm a bit less fan of, so to speak, you know? Like, uh... Like, a lot of people tell me Clanot, Clanot, Clanot is a really good anime from back in the days. But I never really uh, gotten into it back then. But I, I didn't really like the uh, super big eye uh, art style. Um, but, yeah. For example, but um, it's also an anime animation, you know, the, um, because originally I was an animator or a, yeah, wanted to be that, but now I'm a bit more of a, I still want to animate though, but Ooh, I remember uh, that one. it's probably really good, right? If you have the, the nostalgia with it, I'm not sure, like. Could you go? I could go back in it later, like, yeah, like an anime. They have like uh, things Planet, called Sakuga, is. which are like the money shots in anime. They're really top, super epic animated parts. You know, like you see that in One Punch Man, like how it's animated, how it moves, and all that. It, it's super epic. Um. Yeah, what was the point again? <laughs> Sakuga. Yeah, Sakuga is like um, high quality. The, the if you watch an anime, like you have these epic scenes, right? Like um, what anime did you watch? Attack on Titan or something? You have these epic scenes, like where Levi or or some other characters go beat those titans and you see this epic animation it's like the sakuga if you search on youtube later uh and you watch some sakuga compilations or something you, you see the yeah the like um, maybe normal people don't really see it if they watch an anime how well this made or animated but there there's so much uh skill involved in that yeah, it's crazy like how, how it moves and but you have also like manga where epic shit happens in the manga for example and then they get an anime out of it an animation and they have to translate that like with one punch man and such so for example in the one punch man manga some scenes are really well made and then they have to try to convey that in anime and it's so well done like also when they also with the music and all that and the emotion like uh, you have that scene where they where, where um, you have like this Mo Moomin rider it's just a normal dude on a bike you know a hero and he's super weak but when he was fighting in against this fish man or what's it called this fish demon sea king whatever it's called it, it really was a uh, 
touching moment where like you know he has he, he cannot defeat the guy and he is just a, a guy on a bike but still willing to keep going and and at and at and at some point you know he, yeah you know one, one punch man is gonna you know <laughs> you know what he's all about right yeah also with genos and all that yeah the animation also with kaiju no eight and such uh yeah like rent a girlfriend is more like uh well <laughs> This dude rents a girlfriend. <laughs> it's literally in the title. <laughs> what? He rents a girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. No, in that, yeah, there, yeah. I don't really remember Epic Sakuga. Yeah, there are probably some good ones, some good animation. But like, it's more like the, the uh, shonen action um, shows, you know? Like, in. in um, in uh, Sharing La Frontier, you have some epic Sakuga in there. With, uh, I didn't like what they did to Berserk. Oh, Berserk, the anime, I, um, it's 3D. I, 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 depends on which one you mean. I've never really watched the old school one, but... Uh, I'm not, you talk about the anime, I assume. Yeah, I don't really like the 3D Berserk. I think the best way to enjoy Berserk is just through the manga. There's the best artwork of Kentaro Miura, the creative Berserk uh, artist. But I'm not up to date with Berserk. I'm, I have a, a lot of the volumes laying here. I want to, uh, at some point, marathon Berserk. But it might also be a bit depressing how... Uh, yeah, Berserk is definitely uh, top tier uh, manga. But I'm not sure if ever the anime can do it justice. But yeah, the creator unfortunately passed away, and uh, the original creator, the mangaka, the manga artist. Um, so I'm not sure how uh, the new manga chapters are, since the original yeah, the creator is not the there. Um, yeah, which anime do you mean? Like, I watched uh, a few of the OVAs a, a little while, like a few, yeah, like years ago, the uh, 3D stuff, but uh, that's not the best way to enjoy berserk i think personally because the artwork in the manga is so well done um yeah maybe it's a bit hard to translate it to the anime even though i didn't never watch the i don't think i watched the old berserk maybe one episode years ago but um yeah right now the the, the idea is to to enjoy berserk in manga format I hope they, uh, at some point, can make a good Berserk anime, if that's possible, but um, I wonder, man. But yeah, Berserk is definitely uh, probably the best dark, manga, dark fantasy uh, anime slash manga. Maybe also they have to censor shit in Berserk, because crazy shit happens. I, w I read like the first six volumes five six volumes but i have to re read it yeah yeah berserk is definitely uh yeah unless you cannot stand gore and all that then uh, it's not for you but uh yeah you also have like oh yeah vinland saga season two is there i, I like vinland saga the first season better though but it's also a good uh show yeah with vikings and all that um i am way too long on this one drawing man finland saga haven't heard of it yeah it's about um vikings in anime uh Style. No, um, no fantasy in there, like magic and shit. It's just like looking for a hairstyle to draw. 
it's also a bit based on um, a history. I believe the guy, the, the, the manga artist of Vinland Saga also um, checked out the history about Vikings and all that and put that in his manga. Um, I, I, I have some here. But if you have any specific ones you want to see or something, um, yeah, I just named the hairstyle or... But yeah, Vinland Saga Season 1 is more action-packed, I feel. Season 2 is still pretty good, but it's a bit slower. How about French braids? French braids? Oh, braids are really annoying, man. Yeah, I, I drew some characters with braids before, but it's... Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me uh, do that after this one. French braids? Sure. Yeah, and Vinland Saga have also some uh, braided characters, I think. Some of those Viking-ish hairstyles and... Yeah, so you have... Yeah, um... Braids are tricky. The... The things that go in each other. That's braids, right? The... Um, flechten, or what's it called? <laughs> Yeah, but it's fine. It's, uh... So yeah, imagine too, indeed. if you have uh, to animate those braids, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seems like killer. <laughs> All these uh, little things have to move. Correctly, yeah. LOL. Maybe that's where some of the the anime is uh, more straight hairstyle, a bit easier to uh, animate maybe. Yeah, design choice. Yeah, that's also with animation at least. Also with manga though, because originally Naruto, um, at the first episode he had these goggles, right? If you remember, at the first episode of uh, Naruto he had these goggles, but it changed to a headband because if you every time have to draw those goggles in manga, it's really time consuming um, and they have to produce weekly chapters. So instead of goggles, uh, it changed to uh, headbands, Naruto, the current headbands that are now famous. Um, yeah, so originally Naruto was supposed to keep the goggles, but uh, it was too much work to every time yeah, and every panel uh, keep drawing them. I and uh, imagine with animation, <laughs> you have to also animate it, it's even more work. And they have to produce quickly or fast, you know. Yeah, that's uh, not really efficient. So yeah. <laughs> also, uh, that's why Goku be became Super Saiyan because Akira Tiroyama, um, I think an assistant or something, com complained or something like, uh, every time I think to color Goku's hair black, and then Akira Tiroyama was like, okay, let's just make him Super Saiyan, and then you don't every time have to color the whole hair black, and yeah. So it's like a. Uh, a practical uh, manga, you know, thing. So, yeah. Sometimes, uh, yes, you have to just invent shit uh, to uh, keep your deadline, say. Eh? LOL, that's funny. I wonder where else they did that. But yeah, it's uh, a time efficient kind of thing.
Yeah. Two. French breeds. If you have more hairstyles, uh, just let me know. Do 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 or ninjas, yeah. Pretty good. French bridge. How does it look Keep like it again? Up, ninja. Franse broodjes. <laughs> French braids. No, um, are there more? Of, is it like two? Yeah, that's. Uh, oh, you have different types. Yeah, it's like a. Almost like a croissant or something. Le croissant. One with a single ponytail. Yeah, there are different types. Let me just draw a few of them, I guess. This one is uh, maybe a bit different than you suggested. Well, let's just uh, check it out. <laughs> They're already so. Damn, confusing. Wait, let me get another one then. Just one. Mm. Yeah, maybe this. way and a bit here save so like these uh, maybe it's not that practical to draw yeah it's uh it's a thing but uh let's go let's go Yeah, because they go like in each other, like um, like one of my characters. I also had like these braids. <laughs> what is a bit of a pain to draw them <laughs> for me, at least at the moment. Um, but there, there's uh, yeah, it's, that's the challenge, eh? Because they, the way they, they go in each other. It's like a rope, you know, but like you, you can maybe draw them also um, 
Like so sometimes you don't have to draw everything, but still have this style to it for it to uh, convey the, yeah, it the um, like for example you don't have to draw every single brick literally of a house but a few bricks to give it a um, so that you know they're bricks but you know um, yeah how do you say this in English Soms hoef je gewoon niet alles te tekenen, maar uh, je, je kan toch zien uh, dat, uh, zeg maar, uh, <laughs> dat het zo doorloopt. Ja, maar, uh. like I, I don't draw many braids. Um, but yeah, that's why uh, practicing hairstyles. To become better and become a super monk. <laughs> An indruk, yeah, like also if you have manga or if you look at manga backgrounds, they don't draw every single brick, but they draw like a few bricks and make the line a bit longer so you have a hint that there are more bricks, but you don't have to draw it all. It's like, um, yeah, a hint of it. Like not like how you not draw every single hair, literally. It's like uh, stylizing. That's the word. Stylizing the uh, reality to manga style. Um, yeah. Drawing every single hair would be crazy, ha ha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you don't have to, you know, for it to make it look good. So yeah, that's why the stylization, definitely in anime or manga, in, in anime it's especially necessary because they also have to make it move, you know. And if the character design is too detailed then uh, yeah that's gonna give trouble for the animators that have to make it move because you have like character sheets where they work off of as a reference uh, but let's say you have a really complex design that's also why they sometimes go 3d like uh, I guess these days with the robots and such even though I prefer <laughs> to look at it drawn like that's why I like uh, Tengen Topa Guren Lagan because in that anime they actually still draw the robots or it looks drawn at least if they did use 3d um, yeah but I, I, I definitely like this the 3d shit again but I don't really like with anime if they make it too obvious that it's 3d uh, they have 3d shit in there but yeah, sometimes I guess you, yeah, with budget and you cannot get around it. But if everything is fully 3D, I prefer that, I think. Uh, if it's well made, yeah. Like, I, I also like um, this show uh, called Arcane. Like, it's sort of a combination of these painting cell shaded effects and then also 3D and sort of 2D mixed. How they did it is really well done. It, it looks really epic. And I think that I recently saw there is a new season coming. But yeah, Arcane is really damn well made. Sometimes you have these gaming trailers or something of these th uh, 3D animations, like uh, of these game characters. And I think then, like, why not just make a show out of it, you know? But it's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of work, of course. Like how you have World of Warcraft, you have these trailers. And I think, it's called you know, Arcane. Uh, Arcane, yeah. Arcane is this. Uh, isn't it the League of Legends? The characters from League of Legends, I think. I never really played League of Legends. It's not really my game, but uh, I think it was League of Legends or was the other game? It's in uh, one of those Dota games, but I don't really personally play those. Um, yeah, it's also on Netflix. That's where we watched it, I think, back then. 
arcane. Braids suggested by uh, Cyber Cyber. Yeah, it's League of Legends. I'm reading. Yeah, that um, that first season is really well made. Also with the music. Yeah, um, I, I believe it's like took many years to finish that. I, if I. I think I read it somewhere. I forgot exactly how long it took, but it's a lot of work to, yeah, make it where how they how they made it. It's uh, I really enjoyed it. Probably could even watch it again. But uh, yeah, we're still waiting for the new season. I think they're gonna make a new season. Yeah, it's really good. I don't think it even has so many episodes, but. Yeah. Also with the music and all of that. Arcane. <sighs> Yeah, I forgot when... It's been a while since we watched it. Um, yeah. What else? Dune is also really good. Good job yeah, on the braids, man. Laughing smiley. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you like them. Yeah, the, the, they seem maybe a bit stiff here and there. Um, Right. Yes, it's, it's figuring out how it how it actually works. Yeah, that's why it's a a, a challenge, a challenge. Because I'm not good at drawing braids. <laughs> if you like a character in manga or anime, uh, you have to continually draw this. Um, you have different types of braids as well, right? So, Just do yeah, it. It, it could be stylized a bit better. But yeah, nice. I think those Viking braids are also look cool looking. Like I'm not sure if you watched Vikings. Uh, yeah, it's also a good show, I think, or at least uh, I, I enjoyed it mostly until season four. <coughs> I, w I watched it all though. Oh yeah, there's also a new uh, Vikings. Uh, they've been working on it for a while now. Vikings of Valhalla, I believe, or what's it called? It takes place um, 100 years later or something. Have Braids! Seen that? Uh, Is it historical? Yeah, they have his Yeah, it's more like a mix. It's not completely accurately historical. But they're like um, legendary Vikings, like Ragnar, uh, like Ragnar Lovebrook. That is uh, in the show, but you also have like Rollo, but I believe in the show they are like brothers, but in reality, I believe they were originally not brothers. They live like 100 years apart or something, but they sort of mixed history in here and there. So it's not exactly accurate. Like I believe a lot of the um, Viking people complained about how it's not that historically accurate or something. But I, I think it's still... I enjoyed the show. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Wait, wasn't there another show? Oh, yeah, you've also have like... Um, 
Last Kingdom, The Last Kingdom, or something. It plays in like the United Kingdom, or it was not the United Kingdom yet. It's also a bit later than Vikings, so to speak. Also about a historical character called um, Uhtred. A legendary the warrior the that Pete did exist back then, and he was like um, originally a um, English. Or what's it? You all, all, if all these English people there too, but he orig originally was English or something, but at some point he got raised by Vikings, and then he is sort of like in between Vikings and um, the English people. Because the English people fight Vikings, because they invade like England. Keep Highlander. Up, oh, I've not. Uh, I don't think I've seen that one. But the name sounds really familiar. What was that again? Was it from the movie or something? I am too long on this one. Three. Cheers. Um, yeah, Last Kingdom, we um, also watched, uh, it already finished a while ago. It also had a movie um, as the ending. It felt a bit rushed though. But your Last Kingdom is also uh, a good Viking England show from before England became England, the United, uh, United Kingdom. So, so they were still uh, back then fighting each other who is gonna rule England and all that and you had the Vikings invading and uh, yeah lots of shit happens <laughs> also based on uh, real life um, historical people I'm not sure how accurate it is but like if you watched Vikings from the series Vikings you see some characters like Ragnar Lothbrok or or Ragnar. There was also a Ragnar in um, The Last Kingdom. But it's uh, a different Ragnar, I believe, or a different depiction of him. Yeah. Because some char or characters, historical figures, you don't completely know how, how uh, accurate or there are different stories about it. this one character, for example, and yeah, you have to get a take out of it, right? Because some people say, oh, this character died because of this and that. And the other, other says, it. so more It's more always funny reasons. seeing the same characters in different series. Yeah, yeah. Or, or shows, TV sh or something, or movies, yeah. How they are... Uh... Because, for example, Ragnar Lovebrook died um, in real life by different reasons. Or, or different reasons and it, it's uh like some parts of history they they did put in or at least try to put in i'm not sure how completely uh, like like you had ragnar lothrock a legendary viking who had like four sons or five sons and for example one of the five sons in the show was not made as his son and because they're different sagas and uh viking lore uh, stuff and Yeah, some some stuff that they did really epic, how they uh, portrayed certain moments. So it's it's, it's based of reality, right. but also not literally accurate. Or you know, maybe they felt oh, to make it more entertaining, make make Ragnar and. and uh, Rollo, um, not 
uh, or they make them in the same uh, time because else they had to make a show a separate shows with Rolo 100 years later and something like that also with the the net new spin-off of Vikings uh, Valhalla they well there's some weird takes with some some historical stuff where they uh, yeah make make if, if you have a historical dude and then they, you make a woman woman out of it even though <laughs> you know then it's not uh, correct or especially not but yeah Like, let's say you have a, I don't know, man. Historical character that was a samurai and then you make a show and then he's like, um, I have seen that a few times. Yeah, I think Fate else. Stay Night did something similar. How they change shit? Yeah, I really don't really like if they change like crazy from the original source. Like let's say you have Godzilla, uh, a big ass creepy monster and they make him suddenly uh, small and uh, cute, like a Pikachu. Unless that's the comedic purpose of it, but <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> It's it's like some adaptations of anime to real life movies, like uh, yeah, the one that shouldn't be mentioned. <laughs> uh, was this Fate Stay Night? I've never uh, watched it. Is it based off a manga or a novel? There are a lot of Fate Stay Night stuff. I never really watched uh, or gotten into it. I'm not even sure where I should start her. What's it about uh, exactly? Is it a game or uh, like a... Like what is Fate Stay Night about? If you... Because there are many... Seasons or... Something, right? Like many... Versions... Or... Uh, like you have, like with Jojo Bizarre Adventure, you have like many parts with different types of Jojos and all of that. I've never really gotten into Jojo yet. I was reading the first manga part, but I uh, still it's on the to read sometime later. With many things, I have that. <laughs> no idea, honestly. It's some kind of battle where characters are paired with a magical warrior. Yeah, you mean uh, Fate Stay Night or Jojo? Yeah, in Jojo you have these stands, I believe. And they battle for something. Forgot. It was a long time oh. ago. Fate stay night. But there, there are many fates, right, or something? There oh, is fate some stay night. From YouTube messages. Uh oh yeah. Yeah, YouTube is a bit slower than Twitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm streaming on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. In case you are wondering. There are many variants of Fate Stay Night. I guess you can't go wrong with release order. Oh, it's like um, you can just watch it however you want.
I know what's with his face. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. I haven't seen them all yet either. They do seem to be independent. Yeah. Uh, Fate is, uh, maybe, I don't know yet. What was the other one? Oh yeah, Tokyo Revengers. Yeah, I should check that one out. The anime, how that is. Tokyo Revengers, I watch, uh, I read some of the manga. It's a, a bit crazy what <laughs> these young people do, man. <laughs> For that age. But yeah, I guess that's always the case with anime. Like you have Baki the Grappler, super muscular and all that, and he's like 14 years old. <laughs> or something. I like that one too. This one is more what I had in mind with braids. Oh, okay. Thanks. Braids, yeah, they, they are a bit of a... A pickle, a pickle rick. No, um... Well, yeah. Yeah, Revengeance is crazy. I think there was a time travel component. Yeah, that's the whole, uh, whole thing about it. Wait, you have not watched it? I believe the whole thing was the time travel shit. I was reading the manga and... What was it again? He gave this one guy a hand and he, he thinks about the time in the past and he goes back or something. It was something like that. From what I remember, and he Not wants to. Sure. Uh, I would have to rewatch Revenge as it was a long time ago. Oh yeah, he wants to save his girlfriend. Like um, his girlfriend died, and then you have this dude, his brother, the brother of the girl, or something. He, when he touches his hand or something, he can travel back, and for some exactly reason, the, the brother. To someone's brother. Uh, the the brother. Uh, the, his girl. They the girl. His girlfriends, or the girl he has a crush on, every time dies, and he wants to prevent for her, her to die, and he goes every time back in time, but she every time dies in a car crash or something, and that's basically the whole story. But he has to prevent something with this Mikey or this Yakuza kids, these uh, punks, and you have these. Yeah, he also have this sort of Viking inspired dude. These big ass dude, but actually he's just 14 years old or something. Which is. Uh, <laughs> he looks really intimidating or something. Uh, yeah. But these are just 14 year old kids. Like, what the fuck? Like, if you say they were like 18 uh -huh, years old, you, you would believe it. Right. If, you, if they were. What you said. If you if you would say they were like 18 years old, you probably would believe it. I don't know, something like that. But yeah, they were they were hijacking scooters and shit or something. I don't know, man. These all these sort of gangs and yeah. I heard the ending was not so good or something, but I probably should not spoil myself there. But uh, I believe it's already ended though. I'm also not sure how the anime is compared to the manga because sometimes they fuck up yeah, the anime totally with the original source. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In a way, that's also the point of manga, you know. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I wonder. I probably uh, should check out Tokyo Revengers. Actually, I should not uh, forget. Let me. Uh, I haven't watched the second season yet. Are there more seasons? 
I'm not sure how good the like sometimes the the anime is is not so good uh, the adaptation you know compared to the manga but yeah I think Tokyo Do is the Tokyo of manga ever differ from the anime yeah yeah, yeah. for example um, the first anime of Fullmetal Alchemist they made a different path because the manga was not finished yet so they had to invent their own ending and therefore the first anime of for example Fullmetal Alchemist is different but then they made Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood that's completely Keep it up, accurate Ninja. according to the manga or mostly accurate I yeah and for me that's the better experience personally because I prefer to read the real ending and not their other ending. I forgot a bit how the other ending on the ending went again. Back then I still enjoyed it, I guess. Because some uh, back then I also did not know um, about all this I stuff. See. But I didn't even know what fillers were. Because I, at the beginning of Naruto, I watched all the filler. Like you have the first Naruto before she put in game. So Naruto, the first Naruto ended around episode 137. But they went all the way to episode 220, so from 137 until I episode 220 was all of uh, filler of Naruto. But I watched it all, I didn't really care, I thought, yeah, whatever filler. I, I, back then I enjoyed it, I guess, but it's not according to the manga and it's kind of a waste of time because those fillers shit you, you don't get back to, you don't, it's just... Well, filler, like, it's not, uh, it's just sidetracking, randomly. Yeah, there was crazy filler in Naruto. Yeah, that that's like from 137 until 220, so that's, how much is that? 60, 70 episodes of filler. Like, if you compress Naruto, uh, non-filler, instead of 700 plus episodes, you probably, I don't know, have 400 or I something. I was always afraid they would slip in some normal content in the fillers. Yeah, they did that. They go catching a random uh, Struisvogel. What's that in English? They had a mission, uh, if I remember correctly, but yeah, this random mission where they have to catch a... Uh, what is Struisvogel in English? Ostrich? Yeah, they have to catch a random ostrich as a mission and then mix that episode with non-filler. So filler with non-filler. So if you then skip the... F yeah. <laughs> like there was one filler that I really enjoyed of Naruto. And that was when they tried to take off Kakashi his mask. That's the one... Maybe there was another one, but that Kakashi filler is that I, I did enjoy the most of the fillers. <laughs> but that was, um, yeah. I think that that is a good filler. When <laughs> they try to take off uh, Kakashi's mask and you have all these weird <laughs> weirdness. <laughs> What's underneath it? Um, but next to that, a lot of it is just waste of uh, space, you know. Oh, Time. I remember that. Trying to take his mask off was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They made an episode where you actually see him without a mask. But I wish they did not do that. <laughs> I, I prefer to keep it a mystery, you know, but, uh, yeah. They even made, in Japan, I saw a figure of the Kakashi without mask, I think. Uh, yeah. No, I, I prefer Kakashi with a mask, and uh, that's for me the, the true Kakashi. It's like this mystery, you know. And yeah, of course, you know, he has a face under it. But, uh, most likely. I, I did read somewhere that, um, Masashi Kishimoto, the creator of Naruto, had a bit of trouble to have Kakashi and his expressions because he always wears a mask, so it was difficult for him to, uh, sometimes make expressions on, on, on the, yeah. 
for Kakashi to make because uh, yeah he do he doesn't have a face so to speak well he has a face but uh yeah <laughs> That makes sense. The mask is in the way. Yeah, I guess it can work though. Like, what what characters have a mask and it still works? Like, you have Fee for Vendetta. It it still works. Her hair looks fancy. The drawing. Thank Happy you. Happy <laughs> Yeah, I guess some characters with max masks can work. Um, Why well, you have superheroes that always have? Uh, they're not always. They have uh, their real life identity and then the, the hero identity. But hmm. like, what characters have always a mask on? Uh What characters always wears a mask? Freddy Krueger. <laughs> um Yeah, I'm thinking man. Let's see. He also drawing, so all I think of is Batman. Uh yeah, but Batman takes off his mask like Bruce Wayne. So you know what he looks like. Okay, what character wears a mask and you never see his face? Like maybe the guy from Watchmen or something, Rochek oh, or something. But it's yeah, but not always. Yeah, but you know how he looks like. It's, it's like, what character always wears, wears a mask? And you never know, you don't know how his actual face looks like. Then there must be some characters, man. Wait. It doesn't have to be only from anime or something, you know? But, um... Fever Vendetta, yeah, you see him taking off his mask, but you don't really see what's behind it. So I guess Fever Vendetta has sort of that. Yeah, I guess he just has it. So that that works. Some villains probably. Uh, what villains always wear a mask and you never see it? The Darth Vader, you saw his ma face. Um, the mask, you see, what is underneath it as well? Yeah. Doctor Doom. Yeah, that, we watched Fantastic Four recently, actually. But he has a face. You know what he looks like. As I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sure. In the I forgot in the cartoon animation if he he probably takes off his mask at some point. At least in Fantastic Four, they, he did do that in the real life action. Like, yeah, you have the horror characters, right? Like Jason and Freddy, maybe. I guess Jason. Do you know the behind that? Or Scream? Maybe Jason from... Uh... Oh, no, maybe not. Hmm. Oh, shit, we're already... We only drew so little, man. Only five hats. This is too slow, man. Going too detailed in these hairs. <laughs> or I'm just too slow. Well, at least we have to finish this one. Maybe another one as bonus. Jason makes sense. Trophy, yeah, congratulations. Yeah, he's like this killer. Right? Maybe some horror characters. Thanks for the message, Nijas. Yeah, I guess Jason. 
There must be some other ones. Wait. Which other ones? Where you just don't know what's behind it. Yeah, you know why? Because to know if it works as a character. Like a horror character, it's, it's I guess, good. That you don't know what's behind it. I'm not sure if they e ever shown his face. But it keeps it mysterious and creepy, like, right? As a, as a horror, horror character. Uh, yeah. There must be some other ones, maybe even an anime, where you just don't know what's behind the mask. I think even in in su Suicide... No, what's it called again? Suicide Squad? No, not that. Where do you have to play these games? What's it called again? Squad game? Squid game. Yes, yeah, squid game. I think the... I've not seen season two yet, but I think the the, the, the organizer even removed his mask at some point, so that doesn't really count. But there must be some masked characters out there or where you don't know the face of the person. I Only I cannot think of it right now. Game XD. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's um, well, survival game where crazy shit happens. <laughs> but I'm not sure if you're into that. Some people don't like uh, that type of genre, which is fine, you know. Like um, um, Battle Royale, yeah. I was really late in the game watching Battle Royale. I watched it maybe this year or last year for the first time. I, I already knew about it, but I never really completely watched it. It's like when they were... Uh, um, these Japanese students are... The descriptions reminds me of Doom. Yeah, maybe they got it from that, but... Battle Royale, they, uh, the students were kidnapped and, and get these get on an island randomly and then they have to survive there and they have these necklaces around their neck and if uh, they do shit out of the rules they explodes and then their he their heads get exploding uh, if they don't uh, yeah it's like the survival and only one person can survive this uh, uh, game with uh, human lives and um, yeah, you have many types um, of stories in anime and movies and TV shows that have that kind of structure or where I you have see. a set of characters randomly placed in, in a, another place and they have to survive and only one can win and they have to kill each other in order to survive and shit or you see who betrays who like this sort of yeah and then you have also friends that are trapped together and at some point they have to, you know, do crazy shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, had, I had a movie back then called The House of Nine, and it was sort of a similar story. Like, you have this house, um, It does some... sound like a familiar trope. Yeah, it's like a, a genre, I guess, or a type of story, you know? Like, like for example, in the House of Nine, also random people were like, uh, quote unquote, kidnapped, and they were put in a house, and then they, uh, they cannot get out of the house. So they're in rooms, and they don't know why they are there, and they randomly get from this sort of little elevator some food here and there sometimes, and they have to. Uh, at first they don't know where they are and everything and then they get to know that only one person can survive this and such so and there are cameras in this house and yeah they basically uh, you know only one can survive and there, there, there are quite a bit of those types of stories but a boom is 
I, I have heard of it. I maybe maybe watched one episode or something, but it's something like it, right? Wasn't that a sort of online? Expansion It was Yes they blow each other off on an island I think Yeah I, I know about that it exists the anime but I never really watched it so Competition Maybe they took the battle royale concept and Keep it up ninja of. I believe Battle Royale was originally a manga, but uh, I'm not sure how... Uh, maybe it's a manga adaptation actually. But then real life... Hmm. Yeah, you know. If you have like The Walking Dead, it's also sort of the survival uh, stuff. I like The Walking Dead more at the beginning. At some point I, I dropped it. Like the idea is cool and all, but zombies and everything. But at some point I felt it became a bit less about the zombies and more about terrible humans doing shit to each other. Or at least these, uh, yeah, yep, these are just stupid choices of characters, main characters and yeah if the world suddenly goes turn to it, it does wonder though what would you do first let's say zombies come and where would you go like, like, like let's say now Hello. right now right now you get a message i know i guess at the first you you don't even people don't believe it but let's say you see one on the yeah or, or you know it's fact so suddenly now zombies are coming uh, what would you do then, you know, to survive? Like, go to the supermarket and hijack all the food in cans and all that and get some weapons or like... Well, you probably have to block your doors and... Yeah, what would you even do in such a situation? If suddenly zombies are real and... And also which ones, you know, because some of the fictional zombies they can run like 28 days later and something That's but you have also <laughs> you also have like the slow zombies that walk really slow but you have also in some of those stories running zombies that's even more fucked up but yeah what are the basic you need, you need to survive in, in such a thing everything goes to f fucked people getting turn into zombies and yeah what would you do then i don't know man i guess first you have to lock your doors and or get food and shit or or get a place high where the zombies cannot come i don't know maybe even on a boat because they cannot swim right but yeah, you still have to get to land for food, or, or you just fish. Yeah. I have no idea how to get a boat, let's say, right now. Like, maybe you have a boat, but... Uh... How smart are they? Yeah, they're really stupid, you know, brainless, dead. Yeah, they're, they're like zombies. Okay, let's say they're like the, the zombies from The Walking Dead. They're stupid, they, they uh, cannot run. Um, but if they bite you, you, you turn into a zombie, so you can never be bitten. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess food and water is, is one of the first things to think about. But also the people you care about, right? So they don't die, but yeah. I mean, everybody goes in panic mode, right? At, at first, yeah, you don't really know, and then the world knows, and, and shit goes crazy. 
Well, I guess these days, well, maybe the interweb goes gone again, but probably on the social media you will you'll see a lot of zombie shit, if it was a real thing. People posting that. But yeah. I guess finding some shovels, weapons, and uh, blocking the doors, finding food, survival shit. Bicycles seem useful, but maybe I'm naive. Yeah, that's a the thing. They all. <laughs> I think someone made a YouTube video or something about it. Like, uh, why they always travel on horses and such? Why don't just ride a bicycle? Well, why they don't ride a bicycle is it doesn't look epic, right? Even though it makes less noise and... <coughs> I guess, yeah. If you don't want to make a lot of noise and, and bicycles are... I guess uh, for for moving fast are, are good transport things. You know? But yeah, right. we, have, we have not... <laughs> Yeah, because if you like a scooter and something, it makes a lot of noise, but um... Like, uh, yeah, unless your 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 flat is tire, yeah, that that's a bit fucked. But indeed, bicycles, you don't really see them, right? I don't remember seeing really people in zombie stories riding a bicycle. But I guess it... Over here in the Netherlands, it definitely... Uh, <laughs> a lot of people on bicycles, eh? Unless it's already stolen. The bastards. No, yeah, as the land of bicycles... Um, Well, maybe in other countries you don't really have roads for the bicycles. Even though then you can ride on the car road, I suppose. But not at yeah, the start, I think. Of bicycles. Um, but yeah, the hour is already over for this session of drawing air. I, I, yeah, it's a bit slow though. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Alright. These are the six hairstyles that we drew for the challenge. With a bonus one here. Some were a bit uh, more troublesome than others. But uh, yeah, here is the first one. And the second one here. And the third one. Turned out pretty good. Number four. Number five and number six. Uh, so yeah, let me know which one was your favorite, one to six. And uh, yeah, if you have any other suggestions for the next time, just let me know any human body part to draw the next time on the outside of the human body. And that is safe for work, of course. So yeah, if you've seen the previous videos, you already know what's possible. Um, you know, like boobs, ass, muscles, arms, legs, eyes, ears, tongue, nice heads. Many things are possible, and uh, yeah, this was the hair session suggested by the giant, and also Cyber here suggested the braids. Thank you for the suggestions as well. For those were a pickle, but I think um, yeah. It's a good challenge, you know, drawing the braids. Let me know if you have any other suggestions for the next one hour manga drawing practice challenge. Thank you very much for the giant who suggested for the hair and also cyber for the hair style within the hair challenge. So yeah, if you drew along, let me know your hairstyles as well. What you drew, Nothing if you drew smiling. any, just post them in the discord at our Discord if you want to share them over here where you can also see other people the drawings and Join our Discord you can share your drawings over there. Let me know if you have any hair hairstyles and uh, 
Until the next episode of the One Hour Manga Drawing Challenge. Yes. All right, Ninjas, thank you so much for joining once again. Ninja Box Ishili, and see you ninjas the next time. Ninja Case out. Ninja Case. Thanks for joining once again, Ninjas Ninja Bucks, and see you in Ninjas the next time. Ninja Case out. <laughs>